What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been DMing me lately, man. I'm talking about for like the last 20 minutes. I've been getting videos flooded to my DM. Uh, I guess Dirk then came back to Chicago, you know. It's a mural that's painted a King Von like across the street from O Block. Uh, it's a big, big mural. It's pretty dope, to be honest with you. Whoever made that pain, uh, I think, needs to be commended because that's a very real uh, looking like video of, I mean, painting of King Von. I think that's pretty dope, you know. Uh, so, shout out to the painter who did that. Um, but Dirk here, and I think that's pretty dope. You know, it's a lot of rumors on the internet, a lot of videos, a lot of documentaries about the sacrifice. Dirk the sacrifice the guy. Now, I'm not knocking that. I never said it's not happening, it's not possible. Anything is possible, I guess. And sometimes I might overlook things that somebody else might see, so I'm not knocking anyone's opinion. I'm just saying... I don't really get that feel. You know, the internet kind of does this because a lot of these street dudes are secretive. So a lot of information don't get out, which open up the door for a lot of these conspiracy theories. So I think that's what's really happening. But I don't really think anyone could detest the love that Dirk had for Vaughn. He clearly had love for this guy. You got to understand, King Vaughn was locked up in prison. He was gone for a little while. Dirk didn't benefit from signing this guy. Don't get me wrong. He was a street dude. He was like the muscle and shit like that. But put Putting him on his YouTube channel, uh, taking him to the Breakfast Club, the interviews, promoting him, marketing him. Dirk didn't really have to do that. He wasn't a, one of the most sought out the rappers. And it was a lot of people from Chicago and in the O and Atlanta Ron that have been rapping for a while that Dirk got past the jump on this guy. You know, this guy did have the it factor when it comes to King Von. It was something about him that he just had. So I think Dirk really loved that guy. Just kind of picked that guy up from the hood and set him you know, in that hot place that he had him at. And to take a chance to be coming back out here in Chicago because it's a real war in the street. A lot of people are dying every day. This is not no joke. The last couple of artists we didn't see try to sneak in someplace to end up losing their life. We seen D-Thing go to club, oh, lose his life. FBG Duck go to a store shop and lose their life. People going to house parties, losing their life. So for Dirk to take a chance to come out here, now I'm pretty sure he got them goons on the corner and he got security out there so he ain't just out there naked you feel me but at the same token you can tell that this guy has mad love for king von i understand the videos and shit like that like i say some of the shit i'll be watching do be kind of close now i'll be like damn i ain't see that but in my opinion i think those guys was brother they came from the mud you know king von and dirk had a relationship before this music shit now whether people want to believe that or not you know dirk is related and he grew up with a lot of the niggas who people call chiefs and like big time leaders and shit and king von was known as one of them niggas that's why it's Name was King Von. So those guys been homeboys. He died under Dirk Watch, to be honest with you. You know, he wasn't in the same city with him, but he was under his management, his label. And I think this is pretty dope that Dirk came back to Chicago, you know. Now, you gotta be safe out here because they op shopping Dirk. So keep your eyeballs open and remember the back door is always open. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the only truth teller. Blah, 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 blah.